Border Patrol agents are evidently the real reason police did nothing during the Uvalde school shooting. It's not us saying it, but it's USA Today. Why they said it is kind of curious. This is the headline. It was on their home page. How aggressive Border Patrol tactics in Texas contributed to inaction during Uvalde shootings. The article says a recent wave of school lockdowns because of border chases caused teachers, staff, and police to be complacent and not take the real threat seriously. This quote caught our eye. Texas police and city leaders say the school lockdowns were necessary because of the dangerous natures of bailouts. There's little evidence that the general public is at risk from the migrants. Really? All right. To be fair, you have all these schools locked down 47 times from February to May. 90% of them caused by border chases. Thankfully, no student was hurt, maybe because of the lockdowns. But that doesn't mean that illegal immigrants coming across the border and the coyotes and human traffickers aren't dangerous. It's almost as if the article says shouldn't chase anybody because somehow people will become complacent about school lockdowns. Consider why that article is written while we look at the numbers of who's coming across our southern border, the people we know about. Since October, agents caught 50 murderers, 809 domestic violence offenders, 248 sexual predators. Those are the people they caught. Remember, there are hundreds of thousands of people who have got away. We don't know who got away in the chases outside the Uvalde schools. Sure, these are new problems for American mayors to deal with. These are the kinds of images that border mayors are used to dealing with every single day, chases in their communities. Now in New York City and also in Washington, D.C., the mayors aren't so happy about illegal immigrants showing up. Yolanda Perales Ramon deals with this issue every day, Mayor Pro Tem of Eagle Pass, Texas, with us now. Get, we'll get yeah. to New York and Washington in a minute. Uh, is USA Today right that we should stop having the Border Patrol chase people because schools will lock down? Oh, I hope they don't do that. I hope not because, I mean, right now, you know, because of what we're dealing with in the border, you know, Border Patrol is just as important as any other um, law enforcement agency. So definitely not. You know, I hope that doesn't happen. So, so in other words, Border Patrol continuing to chase people and catch people is something that as a border mayor you need them to do? Of course. Okay. Um, this is... You've come on before and talked about the problems in your city because so many mm -hmm. of the people that Border Patrol catches, they then just release into your city, and there's the NGOs that deal with them. Uh, Texas, uh, the governor has offered free bus tickets to, for a number of people to go to Washington, D.C. The mayor in Washington now suddenly is not happy about that because illegal immigration is great, except when they take over her homeless shelters. The mayor exactly. of New York uh, is quite upset. Border crisis hits NYC. Adams calls on Biden as shelters overrun migrants. If we do not get these urgently needed resources, we may struggle to provide the proper level of support our clients deserve while also facing challenges as we serve both a rapidly growing shelter population and new clients who are seeking asylum. Uh, you've been dealing with these kinds of problems for years. What's your advice to the mayors of New York and D.C.? Well, my advice to them would be just be patient because it's been happening to us for over a year. So if that just started happening with them, then unfortunately they'll be going through for as long as we have been going through. I don't wish it upon anybody because it's not good, not for the immigrants, not for us. But, um, you know, it's, uh, again, I, I just said it a while ago, these are unprecedented times and, and tough times call for drastic decisions. And, and the state of Texas decided to go ahead and do this, you know, um, unfortunately. The mayors of D.C. and the mayor of New York are, are getting a little bit of what we deal with every day on a daily basis. Again, for the last year, I mean, just last month alone, we had over 13,000 immigrants that went through through here, through Eagle Pass. And, and this is just one border city, Eagle Pass. We're a small city. You know, we're a city of 20, 28,000 population at the most. And, and we're having to do that. Can you imagine wow. they're complaining they're in Washington, they're in New York? I mean, come on. <laughs> More, it's, it's funny. It's stunning. 30,000 uh, immigrants coming through your city, 28,000 population. That's double. There's no city exactly. uh, could deal with, deal with that. You think about New York, 7 million people uh, in terms go. of that. And, and, and they're complaining now. We can imagine what you're going through. Um, they should be able to handle it better than we can. Yeah. They should be more prepared for well, that. Well, yeah. It, it, it's, it's, it's stunning. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.